cross fostering, fall behinds, and nurse sows. In the following slides, we will discuss cross fostering. This is a common practice to equalize litter size and to diminish the effects of competition for the sow's milk, as well as piglet's competition for space. A piglet has three needs to survive. Antibodies from the colostrum, preferably from their own birth mother, and piglets are born with very limited energy resources. So they must conserve heat so that they can compete against their litter mates for teat access. They also need a source of energy, the sow's milk. So what are the reasons we would need to foster? One, if there's more piglets than there are functional teats, variability in the birth weight, weak or poor viability piglets, savaging, and health challenges and or death of a sow. Here's a quick snapshot of what cross fostering will look like. If two sows have 14 piglets apiece, we would take two from each of those sows and place them on the third sow that only had eight piglets. Getting started with cross fostering, we need to have a plan. First, we need to choose a set write up time in the morning to record farrowings. Write up and chart all sows that farrowed before that time. Those piglets can be fostered that day. After that time, any sow that farrows that morning will be written up and charted and fostered that evening before the staff leaves or at the latest the following morning. It's important to give the piglets six to eight hours on their mother to receive her colostrum, but no more than 24 hours. Piglets establish their teat preference and will almost always suckle on the same teat. So it is important not to move the piglets after 24 hours to help reduce fighting. Also important to minimize the number of movements. Only foster piglets to and from sows that have farrowed on that same day. And to reduce the spread of disease, avoid moving a healthy piglet to a diseased litter or vice versa. Always transfer the larger piglets and allow the smaller piglets to stay with their mother. Only move the smaller piglets when the sow does not have an appropriate underline to accommodate her piglets. After fostering, it is important to look for fall behinds. Fall behinds are piglets that are losing their ability to compete with others while nursing. They are also empty bellied and gaunt looking. These piglets need to be pulled between three to seven days of age and to be placed on a nurse sow. A nurse sow is used to raise below average but viable piglets. They are normally between a P2 and a P4. They are very docile and they have small slender teats. So what is a nurse sow? A nurse sow has weaned her original litter and has adopted another litter. Or she is a sow that farrows and has her original piglets removed on day one. She will be considered a fresh nurse sow. Then they are replaced by a new fall behind litter. It is very important to never mix newborn piglets with fall behind piglets and do not use gilts to place fall behinds on. Fall behinds do not nurse as vigorously and can cause milk production to slow down. 
Here's the summary for this MP4. Give the piglets six to eight hours on their own mother to receive her colostrum. Complete fostering within 24 hours of farrowing. Match the litter size with the number of functional teats and create nurse cells to receive fall behinds from three to seven days of age. These are general recommendations and we encourage the production staff to follow the farm protocols. Farms should have procedures created and approved by their production management head.